Calls are growing for new leadership at the Springfield Police Department. A group of Springfield senior citizens gathered with civil rights organizers in downtown Springfield earlier today, calling for the city's police commissioner, Cheryl Claprood, to step down. Western Mass News reporter Briseida Landa Verde joins us live in studio with those details. Briseida? Well, Chris and Jordan, the organizers are not just calling for a new head of the police department, but also for the mayor to break his silence on all these growing concerns. Cheryl Claprood's got to go. Hey, hey. Dozens gathered on the steps of City Hall on Wednesday, many of them senior residents in the community, calling for the Springfield Police Commissioner, Cheryl Claprood, to resign. So your racist ways and actions, your implicit bias, your explicit bias is all known. The rally was organized by the Massachusetts Senior Action Council. They say Commissioner Claprood responded unprofessionally to their concerns regarding racial bias within the police department during a Zoom meeting back in April. I too cringed at her responses and the brazenness in which she dismissed our seniors and thought it was okay. And they claim that in a follow-up letter in May, the commissioner dismissed community concerns about how the department interacts with people of color, showing no compassion or empathy for minorities. And to double it down with the letter was extremely harmful and uh, devastating for many of our members. The group also highlighting a police interaction more than a decade ago that ended in the death of a teenager. We're with you! We're with you! The mother of Delano Walker Jr., a 15-year-old Springfield boy who was struck and killed by a car during a police confrontation back in 2009, spoke out on the life taken too soon from her family. My son will never be promoted to anything. Right. He couldn't get promoted to high school. He couldn't go further and get promoted in a job. Western Mass News spoke to Commissioner Claprood last week regarding the growing calls for her to step down. At that time, she told us she does not plan to leave her post, but instead will continue to work on police reform. We welcome efforts nationally here in Massachusetts to improve the profession of policing. And I pledge an open door policy and promise to an open and honest dialogue with anyone who shares these goals in earnest. And Mayor Dominic Cerno responding to Wednesday's rally, he tells Western Mass News he met with the president of the Springfield City Council and Commissioner Claprood. He says, we had a very good and open dialogue on sensitivity issues and we plan to continue this dialogue on a regular basis. And he goes on to say, I understand that we are not 100% correct and that we face challenges, but we are always striving to be better and make things better for everyone in our community. Now, one of the organizers reacting to this statement from the mayor telling us they want more transparency and not just conversations behind closed doors. In addition, they want the city to focus more on police training. For now, reporting in studio, Brisa Delanda Verde for Western Mass News.